In this video, we are discussing detecting outliers. So, we shall give you one demonstration on this very topic. So, here is the demonstration. Let us discuss outlier detection and outlier handling. So, before going for that, let me discuss what are the types of outliers. The first type is known as the uh, global outlier. So, what is the global outlier? So, the, here the object significantly deviates from the rest of the data set. Next one is the contextual outlier. What is the contextual outlier? Object deviates significantly based on a selected context. For example, say 28 degree centigrade is an outlier of a Moscow winter, but it is not an outlier in another context that is say 28 degree centigrade is not an outlier for Moscow summer. So that is a contextual outlier. Last one is a collective outlier. So a subset of data objects collectively deviate significantly from the whole data set and even if the individual data objects may not be the outliers, for example, say a large set of transactions of the same stock among a small party in a short period of time can be considered as an evidence of market manipulation. So in this way, we are having three different types of outliers, global outliers, contextual outliers and collective outliers. So let us go for the coding now. So here we have imported the respective models and here we have created one data frame with three attributes price, bedrooms and size. The data frame name is flat that is a house or a flat I am considering. So here we are going for the respective printing. So I am executing this. So here is my data frame. Consider the last record. Here the prices are all of uh, five digit numbers but it is of uh, they are of six digit numbers and it is of seven digit number so here the bedrooms all of them are lesser than 10 or you can consider 20 also but it is it is 125 I think it is a very big compared to the rest of this so there is a global outliers we can consider next one here all the sizes are four digits but here the size is of five digits so here we are having some outlier so one record at least I'm finding that it is containing some outlier values so now how to detect it so the method we are uh, showing here is the elliptic envelope assumes that the data is normally distributed and based on the assumption draws an ellipse around the data and classifying any observation inside the ellipse as an inlier labeled as one and any observation outside the ellipse will be will be labeled as outliers and labeled as minus one a major limitation of this approach is the need to specify a contamination parameter which is the proportion of observations that are outliers and the value we don't know here we are considering that this contamination parameter here we are considering as that 10 percent data will be outliers but here it is very difficult to guess it if we know that 10 percent data is outlier so uh, i think uh, we are having a good concept on the data set but that might not be always available so this elliptic envelope this particular method is having some limitations for that. So here we are defining one uh, outlier underscore detector object under the class elliptic envelope contamination uh, parameter I have passed as 10 percent that is a 0.1 fit detector so uh, executing the fit method and also the predict method you can find that here it is being labeled as 111 so this four records it has been considered as non outliers that is the in layers and the last record has been considered and labeled as minus one it has been treated as outliers so next one is that how to deal with them so at first we can go for the drop so here here we are using one formula uh, one condition that is if the bedroom size is less than 20 then it is uh, it is okay other than it is the record has to be dropped so if we execute the same you can find that the last record the last row has been dropped because its size was 125 which is greater than 20 you can easily find it out here it is 125.0 okay next one the mark that means i do not want to delete but i want to mark it with 0 and 1 so here we can go for that is when the uh, flat bedroom is less than 20 mark it as 0 otherwise mark it is as 1 and I'm creating another column there is a flat outlier so now you can find that this column has got filled up with the values zeros and ones 
and zeros have been put against those rows where the flat size is uh, a, here you can find that the bedroom size is less than about 20 but whenever the bedroom size is greater than 20 I'm finding this one has been labeled as 1 according to the given code next one is the rescaling so here we are creating one um, new column head that is a log of square feet so the log of square feet is there so here is a we are taking the x we are taking the x log of the x and then x is the respective flat size so on the flat size that means on this very uh, column you have done this log and you have done the scaling to some extent so now you have, if you print the respective data frame it is getting printed one extra column that is the log of square feet so now let let me go for the that is the iq work that is uh, in, in uh, that is the intermediate quartile range so here you can find that flat is equal to df so df i'm i i'm just keeping i kept this df earlier also so that i want to work on the original data frame so df is this one so now i've kept this original value there in df so now here we are having this interquartile range so iqr interquartile range so the, the flat has been initialized with the old values so those two extra columns have got deleted now and then we are calculating the quartile 1 and quartile 3 we know that quartile 1 means 25 percent data will be below that value and quartile 2 means the median that is a 50 percent data will be below that value and quartile 3 that is a 75 percent data will be below that value so flat dot quartile quantile that is a 0.25 so we are calculating the quartile 1 and here we are calculating the quartile 2 the so method name is quantile and that is your 0.25 and 0.75 i have passed so inter quartile range so here we can find this one as q3 minus q1 there is a iq word print iq word so i'm printing this value here you can find that if you print this iq word i'm finding that the iq word values for price bedroom and size so they are this so now when the when q1 minus 1.5 into iq word and q1 plus 1.5 into iq word so any flat whose whose corresponding value is less than this or greater than this will be considered as the respective outlier so it has been treated as any axis is equal to one so this condition will be applied column wise and then flat out will be the new data frame you can find that the last record has got deleted so here you can find that we have we are putting this one as not that means those records which will not be satisfying both these two conditions will be will be will be persisting and those records which will be satisfying any one of the conditions will be deleted and so the third row has got deleted from here so this is my total code here you can also type the code you can do the respective uh, experiments on it to have the better understanding that how to detect and how to deal with the outliers and what are the different types of outliers we have discussed that one into details thanks for watching this